alligators, it's Ellie Hardesty and today's video has been highly requested and long overdue now. It is my apartment tour. This is the first time I've ever lived in an apartment slash lived alone because I don't really count the dorms. That was technically like summer camp type of situation, you know, there's still supervision and whatnot. But yeah, I do live on my own now and I'm very excited to show you guys my place. This is a little bit delayed just because I just got furniture like literally two days ago. I was sleeping on the floor and it was just crazy. But if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe subscribe to be a part of the gator family here I know it's a pillow but I put out new videos every Monday and Friday and I want to just know right now bear with me because I filmed this completely on my own like the rest of the video because I needed the lights because it's so freaking dark in my house because I have blackout curtains so this took so long to film I literally had to move the umbrella lighting around the house and just like jump clips so yeah we're gonna get into the video now this is Allie Hardesty and welcome to my crib when you first walk in you will see my calendar this is where I usually record my really important dates that way I don't forget because I see it literally as I'm walking out of the house over to the left I have a whiteboard Below is a trash can and then a place where I store the majority of my shoes along with my Wi-Fi router. After entering through the front door, you will find my living room. I have a pretty nice sized couch. It usually fits like two to three people when I have friends spend the night and that is my Zodiac tapestry from a subscriber. If you guys have seen some of my more recent videos then you may notice that as my background when filming, but that's all going to change today. I will show you guys my new filming setup and also these are my blackout curtains because fun fact, I can't sleep unless it's like pitch black in the house. and. I have them ratchetly hung up with like push pins so I don't get in trouble for like ruining the walls here. And then when I want to open them, I've just been using hair ties, but I need to get ribbons for those. So yeah, this whole apartment is a work in progress, but we're going to move on to the kitchen next. Before moving on to the kitchen, I did want to go ahead and show you guys this. This is my little desk area. If you guys have seen my what's in my bag video, that is my bag for school. I usually drop it here when coming home so I can just chill out. And this desk is where I usually edit my YouTube videos slash do homework. And right above is my bulletin board. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. As you guys can see, I have some notes from subscribers, my medal from Color Run, a picture of my dog, and right above is my AC, which is pretty awesome because I can turn it on with this little remote. It is pretty loud though, so I'm going to turn it off for the sake of this video. If you pan over this way, you will find my eating area. This is my little table of four chairs, and in the middle I have my vase of fake flowers, so they last forever. I just like the little pop of color in this room. Over in the corner, we have my vacuum, my Swiffer, and I'm gonna show you guys my little mirror I just bought yesterday. This is my sun mirror, which I'm obsessed with, and then we have the fan right up above us, and I love the lights on there. It's kind of hard to see with the glare. Again, some blackout curtains because I like my privacy, and luggage for when I travel. What up? This is my kitchen. I'll go ahead and show you guys. Nothing too exciting. You have your basic fridge, freezer, microwave, and then this is my little mermaid dish towel, which I'm in love with. You have your sink for washing dishes, a dishwasher right there, and ooh, paranormal activity. I can already see the comments right now, except I just put my keys there. It's not a ghost, and that way I don't lose my keys if I hang them up and you know, just basic kitchen utensils are in all the drawers, and this is where I do most of my cooking when I'm not eating out. I also wanted to show you guys these chandeliers, which I'm obsessed with. I don't know if it's gonna glare the camera, but that's what they look like when they're on. So hopefully now you guys can kind of see how this is all coming together. The front door is that way, the whiteboard, and this is the entrance to my room, so let's go check it out. When you walk into my room, this is the first thing that you will see. This is my mirror where you can kind of see my bed that I'll show you guys next. This has quarters in it for laundry, jewelry box, a place to hold my rings and earrings and this is hanging jewelry. This was actually a chandelier but I wanted to use it as a lamp so I did. Then right up above is my elephant painting because my room is kind of elephant themed. I'll go ahead and show you guys that in a second. Then last but not least this is my fuzzy stool and this is kind of just a chill place to sit down and relax. Over in that corner which you guys can't see yet is where I keep my umbrella lights. I have two right behind the camera. Obviously, it still needs a little bit of tweaking, but eventually I would like this to become my permanent setup. So, you know, I got my blue tapestry in the back, and if you see along the sides, it has an elephant with the trunk pointing upwards, which is supposed to signify good luck. So, have my subscribe pillow, my little alligator, a lot of other miscellaneous stuffed animals, which I could always get rid of while filming because they're kind of irrelevant. But let me know in the comment section below how I should tweak it, like upward, pointing downward, more zoomed in, etc. 
let me know but I just thought it was a little bit more fitting to film in my room that way the AC isn't so loud but this bed if you notice I did set it up couch style it's a size queen and this right here the comforter is the same one that I used in my dorm MTV cribs apartment tour dorm tour you know and it's for a full but since I have it laying this way it actually fit at least for the time being but this mattress though if you guys follow me on Twitter you probably saw me tweet that I was sleeping on the floor for like two weeks when I first moved in because I was waiting for this to arrive so I only got my couch about a week ago so yeah it was the floor and then the couch and neither of which were comfortable at all so when I got this thing I slept until like 2 p.m. and it was so worth the wait so shout out to heliacsleep.com I'm gonna link them below also I have a $50 off promo code if you guys want to ever purchase a mattress from them because they do customize their mattresses so I told them that I usually lay on my stomach when I sleep and how tall I am how much I weigh etc and I've had really bad insomnia and scoliosis my whole life so definitely investing in a really good mattress is well worth it because sleep is so important you do it every single night and I spend a lot of time weighing in my bed especially on the weekends but they did the job very well I get really hot at night and I mentioned that when I was customizing it so they actually have like cooler things in here so it's to like cool me when I'm sleeping don't really know how that works but there's a ton of options on there so seriously guys check them out I'm actually gonna insert a clip of when I opened the mattress because it came in this like cylinder box and then when it popped out it like expanded it was crazy and my friends and I are like jumping on it because it is so comfortable it's sort of like Tempur-Pedic the one that I got it is a queen size and I don't know how they managed to fit it into this little box but yeah I think it's gonna pop up maybe I should be opening in the room that it's going to be in but we'll just start here oh this is how you do it <laughs> you open this part okay oh here we go I don't want to knock over the tripod <laughs> oh my gosh it's getting bigger I'm so excited. I haven't had a new mattress in forever. Okay. Ah, dude. It's huge. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> I just want to live in this. I want to like do my life in this. Like I just want to like <laughs> Eat and sleep and like live here. Is it, is it not so comfy though? You should get all a bunch of these and put them all over your floor to like have walk a, on. a slumber party. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and like there's no floor space. There's just gonna be like all mattress. All of this. Oh my god, Dude, it it's sinks nice, in. right? Oh. It's supposed to cool your back. I too. love it. Yeah, guys, new filming setup. Let me know below. And we're gonna move on to my closet and my bathroom. Right in here, we have my bathroom. So when you open the door, not very exciting. I mean, if you guys can see, I have my shower curtain, which I got at Walmart, my toilet, I have some towels right here, my bathrobe, etc. Little hand towel, and then I'll show you guys my little drawers and whatnot. What's up, guys? How's it going? So, I have this mirror that opens, but you have to be really careful that it doesn't hit the light right there, because that always freaks me out. I feel like it's going to fall off. And then my makeup brushes right here, I keep in this little container. Got some Q tips, some soap my little hand mirror, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Now, last but not least, we have my closet. It's a walk-in closet, which I love, and I'll go ahead and show you guys. The light switch is right here. Bam, it's pretty much what you'd expect, like a bunch of clothes, but I'll go ahead and zoom in for a better visual. I haven't fully organized my clothes yet, but if you can see, I kind of have it in order of like tank tops, short sleeves, etc. and then I have jackets, rompers, dresses, etc. over here more bins with some random miscellaneous items and then I have my inspo board which is in my dorm tour as well as this is where I keep all of my gator mail so I am constantly reminded of you guys I have all of it in here it somehow managed to fit <laughs> you guys are so awesome I have some more school stuff some books and then I have jeans shorts etc and then here are some shoes that I rarely ever wear you know like high heels then down here we have some more storage things for pajamas and stuff, my dirty laundry hamper, and this is where I hold my socks inside this little thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this apartment tour, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any questions as to where I got any of these items. Most of it was Ross, which I went on like a shopping spree there yesterday, and then Target, Walmart, HeliaSleep.com for this amazing mattress. Be sure to check them out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Monday and Friday and I have a lot of miscellaneous content on there. If you're new to our squad, then hello, what's up? Hashtag GatorFam for life and I love you guys so much. Be sure to follow my social media. I'll link that down below. It's my 
my Instagram, Twitter, etc., which will also be in my outro momentarily. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Later, alligators. Bye. I got it off Amazon. It's called, it's Kiki. That's the brand. So I don't really have a place to put this stuff. I'm probably just going to, like, literally throw it over the camera.